Okay, so here's the tricky bit. We have one key in here slightly turned. We have our holder up the top. Uh, now we're going to reassemble it. Check the operation. So we've got our little disc which is used as a tip stop. We're going to put that in first. We're going to put our cam in. Now we're going to put our driver in. All this has to, has to go in the right spot, otherwise it's not going to work. And it's also very tricky to load it all up without disturbing the top pins or the cylinder below. So I'm just trying to get that cam to drop in now, which, which it looks like it has done. Okay, so that cam has now dropped in. Very carefully put that down. Okay. So now we're going to load in our, our tip stop at the back here. These sorts of things, if you turn them the wrong way, they all fall apart on you. So it's a very uh, tricky cylinder to build. Holding it steady, rotating it round. Okay, now I can take out this top follower. Now I just need to rotate it round where it's going to drop in. Push this one back in. Okay, it's back in my key out. Okay now, so I don't have my circlips on, but now I can just test the function. It's going, okay, so it goes all the way in, and then it comes all the way out to that position there. So when I compare this against my standard cylinder, it goes all the way in, and comes out to, if you were to look at it as if it was clock, it's, um, we'll go this way. So if that was 12 o'clock, that would be 5 o'clock. So that's only, yep. Oh, this side has rotated, don't know why. There's our pick in here. I just have to depress all these pins down, I don't know why it rotated, but it did. Had the key out in the wrong position. Aha, there we go. Okay, so we're just checking it now. So now we actually have the cam up the wrong way. So we'll spin that round and that should work.